for the various farmer carries that we have, we have where you're holding two weights down by your side, holding two weights up by your shoulders. You can hold just one weight down by your side or you can hold two different weights. All of them, the only thing that's really different is the type of carry that you're doing. So we're gonna talk about all of them in this one video. The farmer's carry movement is an anti-lateral flexion movement. So we're trying to avoid leaning side to side as we move with weight. This is a really functional movement that we use throughout our daily lives. So while we're carrying groceries, carrying our car seat, carrying our baby, what we're focusing on is being able to maintain that neutral body position as opposed to leaning towards either side as we move. And so the farmer's carry exercise is really great for helping to develop that stability within the core. The types of carries that we can do is you can hold one weight on each side. So this would just be the standard farmer's carry. You can hold the two weights up by the shoulders, which would be the front rack carry. You can just hold one weight by your side, which is gonna be the one-sided farmer's carry. And then we can hold two different weights. Well, ideally they're at least five to 10 pounds different. If for this demonstration, we're showing two completely different weights, a kettlebell and a dumbbell. But we just want it to be an uneven distribution of load. So we kind of have to fight to maintain more of that neutral position. So those are the different types of carries that you can do. Depending on the area that you have, you can either just walk forward and backwards to do your exercise. If you're in a really limited space, you can either do really short distance or we can do standing marches. So what standing marches looks like is I'm just gonna maintain a stationary position as I lift one foot up at a time. You don't have to lift the knee up super high. It can be a very small step, so just barely lifting my foot off the ground. So I'm still putting weight into one leg, shifting my weight into that leg, and then standing to lift that leg as if I was walking. So again, that doesn't have to be super high. It can be really small steps, but we're focusing on shifting weight from side to side, mimicking if I was walking. If we wanted to advance the movement and you were focusing on standing marches, we could take a mini band and put it around the feet, so right around the arches of the feet, so that when I stood and I lifted, I have a little bit of resistance for my hip flexors. So I can exhale to lift, shift sides, exhale to lift. So this would make the standing marches more challenging. So that could be beneficial if you don't have very heavy weights and we still wanted to make the movement more difficult. For the standard farmer's carry, if you do have space, we're just gonna walk. So you'll just walk back and forth depending on the length of your space. It doesn't have to be huge spaces. All of the exercises are gonna be timed. So it'll be 30 seconds or 60 seconds depending on how far you wanna go. And as I walk, I'm not trying to be super robotic or take really small and slow steps. I wanna walk normally, but I wanna focus on not leaning side to side as I move. So I'm trying to maintain that neutral position, avoid that lateral flexion from that side to side as I walk. And so it'll be the same thing for all the different types of carries, whether it's the farmer's carry, the front rack carry, the one-sided carry, or the uneven carry for all of the exercises. Mm -hmm.